What's up? Uh, Jared from Vandalistica Vlogs, and um, I just got home from work. It is sometime in the future, 7.22 on a uh, Tuesday. Um, I went and bought myself And I just thought, if any of you play uh, 360, I think maybe Trav does. Or yeah, Travis P11, possibly. Maybe he's on PlayStation, I can't remember. Um, I think I said Xbox 360 just then. I totally meant Xbox One. I got this controller today. Um, so it was 54, down to 47. Um, and I just bought it because I needed a new controller. Because uh, the one I've got now is Dookie. Um, with that nice little almost like a chocolate chip uh, pattern on there and one thing I didn't realize um, until after I bought it which was weird um, was you can see I've actually already opened this in the store uh, my friend uh, Ellen works at the EB games where I shop let's right actually right next door to my work uh, if I can shake this off like okay all right so in here we have paperwork, who reads the paperwork, I never read the paperwork. Got a pretty long USB, like regular USB to micro USB, and it's really hard to think of. Anyway, there's that, which is good because I prefer a wide controller. And then we've got the controller itself, which is pretty nice. Now, the thing that I didn't realize about it was you flip that bad boy over and right here, don't know how well that's gonna show up, but we'll have a look anyway. There are two extra buttons. Um, so I don't know if any of you ever heard of scuff controllers. Um, scuff were one of the first people to make controllers that had extra buttons down the sides. And they're mappable to any of the face buttons or triggers. Which means that if you're playing a game like everybody knows, I play uh, Fortnite a fair bit. It means that when you're using the left stick uh, to move, and then the right stick here to look, um, you could map those buttons to, say, jump or whatever. Which means that you won't have to take or reload. Would be a good one. Um, means you wouldn't have to take your thumbs off the sticks which is just more accurate um, you know it's the equivalent of <laughs> equivalent a bit that much but it's a like the equivalent of say uh, not having to take your master hand off a rifle you know so it, it, it frees up your hands quite a bit which is cool on to the next thing I just realized this is so lame. I've got this, that Vandalistica poster up there. It's also my screensaver. Branding, man. I also got, which was on sale as well, this uh, Plantronics, I think it is. Yeah. Plantronics stereo headset. The reason I've got that is because the headset that I'm using now is a communicator which is basically just like one uh, headphone, speaker, whatever thing, um, and the microphone. So what that, the only thing that does is give you the chat. So like when people are talking to you, people on your team and stuff, you can hear that chat, but all of the, um, all of the actual gameplay sounds come through the TV itself, which is, that's doo-doo. That's not good. Um, so this will play both the um, chat sounds and the, you know, game audio as well. Plus it just looks cool. Yeah, anyway, let's pull that out and see what it looks like. So this was a last minute decision to make this video, so it's uh, a little bit janky. <laughs> Let's open that up and so yeah so I got this on sale as well although this one 
this one was behind the counter so it didn't have the sale sticker but I think it was like from about 58 down to 44 so straight away more paperwork silica gel everybody loves a bit of silica two silica gel packets we're really really getting our money's worth here so headband and the separate headphones left and right uh, the other thing this has is inline audio control so volume and muting which is good this is also uh, noise cancelling, um, uh, that thing, <laughs> noise, can noise cancelling that thing, you know that thing. So we're going to take this off, there we go, so actually it's, I'd say it's lightly padded. To be fair this is a, obviously like a budget. Um, headphone set but you know you get what you pay for so I guess we just snap this bad boy into place oh yeah that's quite good good positive click on that and then we take the other side and it, the the good thing about this as well with it being just like detachable from the actual headband itself is that um, you could then in theory have the microphone on whichever side you wanted just by changing the side of the headphone. Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense. So we're going to move that down. Let's just uh, take this band off. I'm not feeling this lime green, but uh, that's all right. All right. Good bit of band flex. Uh, yeah, let's put those on and see how they feel. Ooh! They're actually really comfy. They're nicer than the headphones I wear normally. Like, for music. Oh, operator. Oh, they are super comfortable. They're really nice. Uh, I said to my mate Ellen that, uh, can I get my money back if I don't get a victory royale with this gear, but, uh, he said no. Surprise, surprise. So, that's my little haul for today. Um, hope everybody's having a good week. Hope to catch you all around the internet sometime. I, I'm so annoyed that I actually, I had my lunch break right when um, Midnight Range was going on his live chat. The pre-chat was fine, it all worked, and then right when he started coming into the actual video proper, it just crapped itself, so. Maybe maybe after I finish, you know, after I've finished up at work, I'll actually be able to get in a chat properly, like we did months ago. Yeah, but anyway, God bless. Look after each other. I'll see you later. I don't. Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs>